Eight is Enough star Susan Richardson was once one of the most popular TV actresses in the world. Today, she lives a much different lifestyle than she did at the peak of her fame. At age 71, Susan can be found living out of a bare-bones trailer and diving in dumpsters for food. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Susan Richardson is now 71 and has lost all of her money. In the late 70s, Susan Richardson felt as if she'd hit the jackpot when she was cast on the TV series 8 is Enough. She had only recently made her way into the entertainment industry, having caught her big break when she was hired by an up-and-coming director to star in his new movie. That director was none other than George Lucas, and the movie he was working on was American Graffiti. At the time, George was far from the big-name director he became, thanks to 1977's Star Wars. The only feature he had under his belt was a low-budget and independent sci-fi feature called THX 1138. American Graffiti proved a big success, and it rocketed its director into the stratosphere. It also helped draw attention to a lot of its stars. In addition to Susan, this included Ron Howard. At the time he was cast in American Graffiti, Ron was known to most of the world for the work he'd done as a child star on The Andy Griffith Show. American Graffiti was released in 1973, and it revolved around a group of high school graduates on one fateful night in the early 60s. The freewheeling period piece hit the nostalgia bone for many adults who graduated from high school themselves a decade prior. TV producers took a look at the film and decided they could do something similar. Thus, Happy Days was born. Like American Graffiti, Happy Days was a period piece that mixed nostalgia and teenage comedy. It also starred Ron Howard. Susan Richardson had befriended Ron during production of American Graffiti, and this led to Susan getting a role on Happy Days. This is how she made her entrance into the world of TV. Before long, she was cast in an integral role on the TV series 8 is Enough, beginning in 1977. Susan is now homeless. Eight is Enough turned Susan Richardson into a huge star. But like so many TV stars from years past, fans might be curious to find out what she's up to today. She's still around, but the lifestyle she lives is a far cry from the glamorous one she could be found living at the peak of her fame. She's currently living a much more modest lifestyle. She lives out of a trailer and can often be found diving through dumpsters to find something to eat for the night. She parks her trailer wherever she can find a good spot, including in campgrounds. According to Susan, the time since the days of her television stardom have not been very easy. This is especially true of the last decade, which has seen the actress lose several people very close to her. Her mom passed away in 2014. The following year, her sister passed away, and her father passed away in 2016. These three consecutive deaths would be traumatizing enough, but there's also the fact of the matter that all three of these figures died from the same cause, and it's an issue Susan is currently dealing with as well. The thing that killed Susan's mother, father, and sister is a disorder called achalasia. Achalasia is characterized as paralysis occurring in the esophagus. Susan has been personally dealing with the condition that killed her relatives for years. According to Susan, she suffered three separate strokes as a result of the condition. At this point, the actress has found herself mostly unable to eat. In order to get her day's nutrition, the actress has to be hooked up to a feeding tube for up to 16 hours. Susan makes the most of her days. Given both the condition she's suffering from and the actress's otherwise aberrant lifestyle, one might assume she's having an incredibly hard time. This may be true to an extent, but Susan still finds positives to make the days count. There are plenty of fun things Susan still does to keep from going insane. She has a couple of hobbies which include both playing the piano and illustrating children's books. The actress also claims she gets a lot of letters from fans, many of whom wish her the best of luck. Susan claims that the doctors told her around a decade ago that she wasn't long for this world. The fact that she's still alive and relatively well can be seen as a minor miracle, and this isn't lost on the actress. Even in her pain, she makes every day count. Susan Richardson may not be at peak health, but she still has some minor victories every once in a while. Just recently, she became a grandma. The fact that she's alive may be seen as ironic when you consider that the 8 is Enough co-star, who played her youngest sibling on the show, just passed away. Adam Rich played youngest sibling Nicholas Bradford on the series, and he passed away in 2023 at age 54. Like Susan, he remains best known for his role on that television show. Before passing away, he lived a fairly turbulent life, but the troubles in his life weren't caused by a genetic anomaly, as is the case with Susan. 
Instead, the troubles in his life were caused by his own criminal behaviors. In 1991, he got in trouble with the law when he smashed a pharmacy window to steal drugs. He ended up being bailed out by former 8 is Enough co-star Dick Van Patten. One might have thought this event would have been a wake-up call for the actor, but it wasn't the case. In 2002, he got into trouble with the law once again when he was arrested for driving under the influence. The following year marked the last appearance he made in the media. Other former 8 is Enough stars 8 is Enough ran from 1977 to 81. After the series ended, Adam continued working in the entertainment industry to various degrees before unofficially retiring in the early 2000s. Other television series he appeared on over the course of his career included Baywatch, Silver Spoons, and Small Wonder. In 2003, Adam was one of many former child stars who made an appearance in the David Spade-led comedic film Dickie Roberts, Former Child Star. Lori Walters played third oldest sibling Joni Bradford on 8 is Enough. After the series ended, she continued performing on television until 1993. Since then, she became better known as an environmental activist. The former star has also branched out into directing. Diane Kay played Nancy Bradford, and she's another former 8 is Enough star who has since retired. Before that, though, she appeared in Steven Spielberg's much maligned World War II comedy 1941. Connie Needham played Elizabeth Bradford, though she's currently working as a dance instructor in Orange County. She's also appeared on the TV series Fame, L.A. Law, and Ellen. Grant Goodeve played David Bradford, and he's had a pretty solid career. After appearing on 8 is Enough, he could be found acting in hit TV shows like Northern Exposure, 7th Heaven, and Twin Peaks. He's also made a name for himself as a voiceover artist in video games. More Tragedies Lanny O'Grady played Mary Bradford on 8 is Enough, and her story is kind of tragic, but to decreasing a veil. All the while, she was becoming more and more dependent on illicit substances. In September 2001, she overdosed via a mix of prescription drugs. Willie Ames is another former 8 is Enough star who had to battle with the demon of addiction over the years since the show ended. Willie has battled alcoholism, and he has two children he takes care of. Finally, let's take a look at Diana Hyland and Dick Van Patten. Diana was dating John Travolta at the time she began performing on 8 is Enough. Tragically, she died the same year the show premiered. Dick Van Patten played Patriarch Tom and was a veteran performer at the time he was cast. He passed away in 2015 as a result of diabetes complications. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of the story was most shocking to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.